Hello everyone. In the last session we have learned how to measure high voltage by using spear gap measurement. In this session I will be discussing the various factors which are affecting spear gap measurement. Let me list out the different factors which are affecting the spear gap measurement. Number one, nearby earth object. Number two, atmospheric condition and humidity. And number three, irradiation. And number four, polarity and rise time of voltage waveforms and the last one is influence of dust particle. These are the various factors which are affecting on spear gap measurement. Let me explain how those factors which are directly influencing on spear gap measurement. Now let's discuss one of the important factors that is nearby earth object. What about the contribution of these factors regarding the spear gap measurement? Kufel is one of the scientists who had done detailed study on this matter. Kufel, one of the scientists, enclosed spear inside the earth cylinder. Later on, he observed that the spark over voltage got reduced because of nearby earth object. Moreover, he, he could compute the percentage of reduction in the spark power voltage that is given by delta V that is equal to M into log B by D plus C where delta V is known as reduction in spark power voltage it is expressed in terms of percentage. This is the total amount of reduction in voltage in terms of percentage. Okay, we already observed that the spark over voltage will be getting reduced because of nearby earth object. That value can be calculated by using the equation. Uh, in this equation, delta V is known as the overall reduction in the voltage in terms of percentage. Where B is known as diameter of earth enclosing cylinder. And D is known as a diameter of the sphere. S is known as gap spacing. M and C is constant. Both are constant. So that can be calculated depends on the parameter, depends on the given circumstances we can able to determine the value of M and C. So this equation delta V is equal to M into log B by D plus C uh, that is mainly used for the computation of percentage of reduction in spark over voltage uh, when the presence of nearby earth object. So we can conclude that if there is any nearby earth object overall spark over voltage get reduced. Uh, let me discuss the second factor that is effect of atmospheric condition and humidity. Actually, uh, the spark over voltage of spear gap that is depending on air density. Uh, the air density varies with respect to temperature and pressure. Then, we can able to calculate the actual value of spark over voltage by using the simple equation. That means, V actual that is given by uh, K into Vn where V actually is known as uh, the actual value of spark over voltage. Vn is known as the practical value of spark over voltage. By conducting the experiment, you will come to know the practical value of spark over voltage. So K is a constant. K is a factor. We cannot say that K is a constant. It is a factor. Or we can say that K is a function of air density correction factor. It is a function of air density correction factor. So, you can represent air density correction factor by using the letter D. Either D or some textbook you can see raw. Okay, both are correct only. Don't make any confusion. Or you can calculate the air density correction factor by using the following equation. Either you can call raw. Raw is also okay. Okay, raw is also fine. Uh, so, air density correction factor that can be calculated by using the equation D is equal to P divided by 760 into 293 divided by 273 plus T where T is known as temperature. You can put the value of temperature, say 20 degrees Celsius. So I can I need to put the value of T over here. Then P is actually 760 Tor. Tor is one of the unit of pressure. So you can able to calculate the value of air density correction factor by putting the temperature and pressure over here. Then I will come to know the value of D. By considering the value of air density correction factor, I can able to choose the value of K. If I know the value of K, then I can multiply K with respect to Vn. Therefore, I will be getting the actual value of spark over voltage. It is very clear that the spark over voltage that is directly depending on air density correction factor, uh, those air density correction factor that will be directly depending on pressure and temperature. So, it's a key role uh, regarding atmospheric condition uh, in the spear gap measurement. Now, let me show the relationship between air density correction factor D and K. So, 
This is one of the table which is showing the relationship between D and K. For example, whenever air density correction factor that is equal to 0 0.70, you need to choose the value of K is equal to 0 0.72. For some other case, whenever air density correction factor is equal to 0 0.85, you need to choose the value of K is equal to 0 0.86. This will be helpful for the calculation. Anyway, I need to calculate the actual value of spark power voltage. That is my ultimate goal. Here, Vn is available by conducting the experiment. So, if you know the value of air density correction factor, correspondingly you can able to choose the value of K. Then if you multiply K with the Vn, I will be getting the actual value of spark power voltage. That is a peculiarity here. So, this is the this table shows the relation bet relationship between D and K. So, we can conclude that one of the main factors that is atmospheric condition that will be directly influencing on the sphere gap measurement. Now, let me move on the influence of humidity. Now, as the humidity content increases, we can say that there is a possibility for increasing spark power voltage. Both are directly proportional. The humidity is directly proportional to spark power voltage. So, we can say that humidity effect increases with respect to size of sphere. If you are maintaining a high diameter of sphere, so there is a direct influence on humidity effect. So, it will be increasing if you maintain high sphere gap diameter. We can, as we can say that, uh, if you are maintaining high sized uh, sphere in your experiment or in your measurement device, definitely humidity effect will be directly influencing on that particular setup. The spark power voltage is directly proportional to partial pressure. If the partial pressures are very high, then we can say that there is a feasibility of increasing spark power voltage. That is another peculiarity. Both are directly proportional. Moreover, the spark power voltage will be directly proportional to water vapor in the air. That is also one another important factor. So, these are the various factors which are correlated to humidity. Okay. One more important thing we can observe. As the changes in spark power voltage with the humidity is within 3 percentage, no correction is normally given for humidity. That is also another situation which you can apply in practical cases. Doing the calculation and all, you can take care of those factors. Okay, so these are the factors related to humidity. Now let me draw the one of the characteristics graph that is actually between the breakdown voltage versus humidity. Let us see the shape of the graph and we can predict some important information from the particular graph. As you can observe on graph that is between the breakdown voltage versus humidity. The breakdown voltage will be taken in terms of kilovolt and Humidity has been measured in terms of mm of mercury. You are able to get one of the non-linear graph. Shape of the graph is purely non-linear. So this is one of the peculiarity and the influence of humidity on the sphere gap measurement. Now let us discuss the third parameter that is irradiation. How irradiation will be directly influencing on the sphere gap measurement. Actually, the presence of X-ray presence of X-ray, then UV rays, that will be directly affecting the spark power voltage. I think you, you must have observed, whenever you are doing the experiment on the sphere gap measurement, you will be doing in a closed room. Why? Because no irradiation will be directly influenced on the particular sphere gap measurement. It may spoil the accuracy. Why? Because the irradiation, presence of these rays, that will be directly proportional to the spark power voltage. So that is why whenever you are doing the experiment on spear gap measurement, it will be conducting in a closed room where no irradiation, no this kind of rays will be directly affected, will not, will not be directly influenced on the spear gap measurement. So, so this is one of the important factor regarding spear gap measurement. Let me explain the fourth parameter that is effect of polarity and waveform. So, this is one of the most important parameter while doing the experiment related to sphere gap measurement or while doing the real time measurement of high voltage by using the spark gap measurement or sphere gap measurement. It has been observed that the spark over voltage for positive and negative polarity impulses are different. Polarity means positive and negative. So, we can uh, say stick on the first point. Let me continue the first point in another manner that means experimental investigation shows that the sphere gap of 6.25 centimeter to 
25 centimeter you can note on this point 6.25 centimeter to uh, 25 centimeter diameter the difference between positive and negative dc voltage is not more than one percentage this is most important so it depends on the sphere gap and depends on the diameter and the sphere gap okay so the difference between that positive and negative polarity that is not more than one percentage that is one of the noticeable point so let me continue one more point for smaller sphere gap please note down for the smaller sphere gap that means diameter less than 2 cm 2 cm and less than that particular 2 cm diameter sphere uh, the difference was about the difference of positive and negative polarity was about 8 percentage that means the range of impulse waveform will be 1 by 50 microsecond that means uh, 1 microsecond belongs to wavefront and 50 microsecond belongs to wave tape so it depends on the polarity so we have to take the tolerance that depends on the sphere gap okay depends on the sphere gap and depends on the polarity you have to choose the tolerance so that is a conclusion regarding the point that means for the sphere gap in the range of 6.25 centimeter to uh, 25 centimeter the tolerance you need to choose one percentage where uh, the smaller diameter of sphere gap that is two centimeter diameter and less you can choose the difference between positive and negative polarity that tolerance is almost 8 percentage you can choose it will be helpful for doing the calculation and you can minimize the error as much as possible regarding the waveform so let me consider this particular point the wavefront less than 0.5 microsecond that means wavefront wavefront less than 0.5 microsecond and Wave tail, wave tail less than 5 microsecond. So consider these two cases. The breakdown voltage will not be consistent. In experimentally they have proved they have pro they have proven that the wavefront less than 0.5 microsecond and wave tail less than uh, 5 microsecond. The, the spark power voltage or you can call the breakdown voltage are not consistent it will be frequently vary therefore for such waveform that means some waveform like 0.5 bar 5 microsecond for such type of waveforms the waveform the wavefront less than uh, 0.5 microsecond and the wave tail less than 5 microsecond uh, this method that means the sphere gap measurement is not recommended why? Because the spark power voltage or you can call it breakdown voltage will be frequently fluctuating and we won't get any accurate measurement. So such cases will be completely neglecting this method. So depends on the waveform, uh, we can uh, choose this method. Whether the method is feasible or not, we can identify with the help of this parameter that is nature of waveforms. So we have identified the, the effect of polarity and uh, identified the effect of waveform as well. Now I will be discussing the fifth parameter that is influence of dust particle. So presence of dust particle. It will induce us the spark or voltage. Whenever you are doing the sphere gap measurement, make sure that the spheres and all the arrangements should be clean. It should be cleaned properly before doing the experiment or before doing the measurement. That means the presence of dust particle that may cause early dielectric breakdown. So you will be getting the wrong reading. So make sure that all the surfaces of that particular spheres that should be cleaned well before doing the measurement. So we can say that uh, the influence of dust particle is, is also an unavoidable factor. Finally, I would like to conclude the session. You can say that the following five factors that will be directly influencing on the sphere gap measurement. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this channel is really useful for you, you may please subscribe.